Welcome to Vedil Vagaparai. In this video, uh, we will see VSCPR theory. This question is based on PGTRB chemistry 2019. So, it is a mass the following question wherein we have uh, the compound and the shapes to be matched. There are four different compounds that are given, two xenon compounds and two hinterhalogen compounds are given and then their shapes are asked to be matched. So, we will do this problem and find out the answer very quickly. So, now coming to the solution, the first molecule was xenon difluoride. So, the very easy way to find out uh, the shape or geometry of the molecule is following this method, wherein we will find the total number of valence electrons on the molecule. So, if you see when well, xenon is uh, a rare gas and so its valence electron will be 8. Then fluorine, we know they are halogens, their valence electron will be 7. So, there are two fluorine atoms. So, 7 into 2, 14. So, the total number of valence electron of is XeF2 will be 22 electrons. So, when you divide this 22 by 8, we get a quotient which is 2 and then a reminder of 6. That 6 divided by 2 will be 3. So, the quotient is equal to the bond pair and the reminder is equal to the lone pair. So, the quotient is bond pair, the reminder is the lone pair. That is the reminder divided by 2 is the lone pair. Now, next what we are going to see is total number of bonds. Total number of bonds is equal to the number of bond pairs and number of lone pairs. So, there are 2 bond pairs and 3 lone pairs. So, the total number of bonds is 5. So, now it is very easy for us. You would have known that according to VSCPR theory, there are different types of molecules AX2, AX3, AX4 like that. Uh, when we are having 5 as the bonds, number of bonds, that means it belongs to the AX5 type. Okay. So, if it is an AX5 type, we know the basic geometry is trigonal bipyramidal. So, if a molecule is having a trigonal bipyramidal geometry, we know how it will look. The classical example which you all know will be PCL5. So, AX5 has a trigonal bipyramidal geometry where 3 bonds are on the trigonal equal, equatorial position and 2 bonds are on the axial position. So, this is actually trigonal bipyramidal. In case of a trigonal bipyramidal, whenever there are lone pairs of electrons, the lone pairs will occupy only the equatorial positions, whether it is one lone pair, two lone pair or three lone pair. We all would have studied about if there is one lone pair, then the shape will be like a seesaw. If there are two lone pairs, the shape is T-shaped. Okay. So, if there are three lone pairs, the shape is linear. So, you have AX and AX, that is why the shape is linear, the bond angle is 180 degree. So, though the base type is AX5, because of the presence of lone pair of electrons, as per VSCPR's theory, this particular molecule has a linear shape and this is how xenon difluoride looks. So, the lobes of lone pair are shown in this particular case um, and as a result, the molecule is a linear geometry. So, this is how um, uh, the geometry can be very easily explained using this valence electron concept. Now, so now let us go back to the question. So, the question we found that XeF2 has a linear geometry. So, in the given options, only option A has a matching to the uh, statement that we have uh, found out that is XeF2 as a linear geometry. So, it is very easy and uh, very simple for us to mark the answer as A because no other option has uh, this particular combination. But then uh, the, the answer is already seen now, but then I will want to uh, you know work out the other problem for us to show and see whether uh, the other structures are really matching or not and also to get a clear picture of what we have understood. So, let us take up B. In case of B, both the atoms are halogens, they are interhalogen compounds. So, the valence electron is 7 and then 3. So, it goes to 7 3s are, to, uh, sorry not 3, it is actually 4. There are 4 uh, halogen atoms. So, 7 4s are 28. So, 28 divided by 8 will, uh, will be uh, 3 bond pairs because 8 3s are 24. And then 4, uh, the remaining 4 divided by 2 will become 2 lone pairs. 
So CLF3 has three bond pairs and two lone pairs. So the number of bonds is of the type AX5 type. So if it's AX5, we know its geometry will be a trigonal bipyramidal geometry. In case of a trigonal bipyramidal geometry, as I told you earlier, the lone pair of electrons will occupy the equatorial position. So as a result, the molecule appears like a T-shape. So CLF3 matches with T-shape. So in the answer also, we can see B is going to option 1. Now coming to IF5. So when I write IF5, again it is the inner halogen compound. So it is 7 into 6, 7 6 are 42. That divided by 8, 5 bond pairs and 1 lone pair. So the number of bonds is of uh, adds up to 6. So it belongs to the type AX6. AX6 means octahedral geometry. Parent geometry is octahedral. So octahedral geometry means there are 6 groups like this. So uh, AX is on all sides if it is an octahedral geometry. In this case, only 5 bonds and 1 is the lone pair. So this place, it becomes a lone pair. So altogether, you are having only 5 bond pairs. So this 5 bond pairs and 1 lone pair uh, looks like a square and a pyramid. So the geometry's name is square pyramidal. So C matches with 4. So this option is also right. Next, we go to XeO3. XeO3 again, xenon is uh, having 8 electrons. Oxygen is 6. Uh, 6 threes are 18. So 8 plus 18 will add up to 26. 26 by 8. Again, 8 threes are 24. So 3 bond pairs plus 1 lone pair. So XeO3 is of the type AX4. So AX4's parent geometry is tetrahedral. So we all know the tetrahedral geometry. So when one of the bonds in the tetrahedral geometry is replaced by a lone pair, it will look like a pyramidal geometry, like ammonia molecule. So that trigonal pyramid or pyramidal geometry, both are right. So D is also right. So, in total, we see that all the molecules and their geometries are exactly matching in option A. And so, option A is the correct answer. Hope you understood. Thank you.